Welcome back to this week's update about the CVE program and what's happening next. Major plot twist. A new player has entered the villa. <laughs> the MITRE CVE program funding concerns has caused a significant amount of instability regarding tracking vulnerabilities and bugs. The information the program maintains is critical to cybersecurity defenders across the globe, not just in the US who has been funding the program since its inception. The European Union Agency for Cybersecurity, known as ENISA or ENSA, has created the European Vulnerability Database or EUVD. It was announced as operational via a formal press announcement on the ENSA website on May 13th, 2025. To be 100% clear, the EUVD was not created in response to the CVE program funding concerns. The timing just happened to work out well. The EUVD was actually developed as a part of the NIS2 directives. NIS2 is the European Union's updated framework for cybersecurity, replacing the original NIS directive. It is designed to enhance cybersecurity across the European Union by establishing a high common level of cybersecurity for network and information systems. This directive expands the scope of covered entities to include more industries. Companies must implement stronger risk management measures, report incidents, and comply with minimum cybersecurity standards. National authorities are given greater enforcement powers and the ability to impose significant fines for non-compliance. Part of this directive also had the goal of creating a coordinated vulnerability disclosure system, and so the EUVD was created. ENSA has come out and said that the EUVD aims to complement the CVE program, not rival it. ENSA was actually named a CNA, or CVE numbering authority, in January 2024, which allows the two to work in tandem. 